now welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basem. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. And I also really love decorating. If you've been around here, you know I love a good decorate with me video. So that's what we're doing today. We're finally, we're gonna do my holiday one. I already put up you know, my little frosted trees. I'm gonna use some of the stuff I used for last year's mantle. There's also, there's also a lot of new stuff. I'm just changing up the style of it. Like I said in my holiday decor hunting video, I'm thinking of doing like a very like elf, retro, Rudolph, frosty kind of style. So lots of vintage inspired, but also, you know, we have to add a little creepy cute in there with, with the elves. I am an elf gal. I'm very excited. Also, oh, let me show you the fit for today. <laughs> I am wearing, this is the Grinch pajamas that I found at Walmart. I don't know if I showed these to you guys or not. I found these. They had them in both men's, women's, and children. So I got Craig and I a matching set. So we have something <laughs> fun to wear on Christmas. But I thought this would be perfect for the Decorate With Me video as well. I mean, it's got that whole vintage vibe. I have my little Grinch blow mold I show you guys I got. I have it over near the staircase right now. You'll see, I kind of changed up some stuff. If you've been here before, you know, I normally have a little ottoman with a bunch of pillows underneath the mantle. But this table is normally kind of on the side where you are. So I switched places with them because I wanted to be able to fit the tree in the living room. And I normally put the tree on like a small ottoman in the corner over there. Um, but this year we had bought this table. So I kind of had to rework some stuff. So I think it's gonna look really nice. I actually really love this here. It opens up, I mean, the room's a mess, just ignore. But it opens up the room so much more. So I'm, I'm really excited about having that here. And I feel like I can put more of the decor that goes in with this right there. And then I'll put the tree on the big ottoman. The second half of the room, kind of like I did for Halloween, I may end up just decorating this all on my own. The tree um, is something Craig and I typically decorate together. So I'll probably have, you know, he and I decorate it maybe this evening or tomorrow. And then I'll for sure show you guys an overview of it so you can see it. But I probably won't film that process because it usually takes us a while. We each have bins from like when we were kids, like our, you know, our parents have passed on stuff that was like our childhood ornaments kind of thing. So we each have a bin of that and then we have a big bin of like stuff that we've accumulated over the years of being together and being married. It's always a fun and a very like special moment for us I think. I at least for me it is. <laughs> I think he enjoy, enjoys it as well. So I probably won't film the decorating with the tree but I'll definitely show you guys after the fact how it looks. Today we're gonna do the mantle. These I got at at home a few years ago. Um, the little butterfly up here, those are clip-ins I found at Walmart last year, actually. They're just nice wintry butterflies that I thought looked really pretty on the tree. It added a nice whimsicalness to it. Last year's mantle theme was like winter goth wonderland. <laughs> like lots of black and red and white and silver. So what we're gonna do, you should see my coffee table right now. You know what, full transparency, let's go with it. Oh Lord, have mercy, what am I doing? Let's just see, look at all of the trees and decor <laughs> and medication. Um, <laughs> this is what I'm working with. So I got everything out that I think I'm gonna use on the mantle. Also, if you've never been here before, I am very much a maximalist in my decoration style. So this is not a, let's put four things up there, space it out and it looks all fancy dancy. I, that's gorgeous, it's just not really my style. I am a how much shit can we put on the mantle style kind of gal, so that's what we're doing today. I think what we'll start with first is lights and garland because I like to have that as the base on there and then we can put all the decor around it. For garland, I have this nice silvery one. I got this at, at home several years ago. I'll zoom in for you guys. I nearly always keep that silvery one as the base. Just like Halloween, I had made my own garland for the top for for Christmas, so I'll put that one up there. And as always, I'm little miss short stuff. I'm gonna use a step stool to be able to reach all this. I live in a house from the 1920s, so my mantle is over six feet tall. I'm 5'1", <laughs> so step stool it is. Alrighty, here's my garland. It's just nice red and white, lots of branches, because you have, I love the branches. Can't see it too much, but once you add stuff in and kind of floof it, 
it'll look really nice, especially with the lights behind it too. Okay, I'm just gonna put some white string lights all the way around the mantle. Okay, I do have some really fun LED strip lights that I keep like, they go around the mantle and basically around the edge of the wall and around that whole front wall. Ooh. So that will definitely help with lighting stuff up as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do green or if I'm gonna do red. We'll show you at the end, and then I want you guys to comment. Let me know which you think looks better, the green or the red. I'm probably leaning towards the green, but it's just because I love green. Okay, so let's get to the trees. I have this little fun tree. I got this last year at home, and then this year at Walmart, I found these. So I have two of these, one of this. They're about the same height. I think I'm gonna put them along the top, just kind of staggering, so like these two on the outer side and then this one on the center. It would probably help if I cut the tags off. Oh Lord, Jenny. Get it together. Okay, that looks really cute. I have these other trees, look at these. I got these last year from at home as well. And actually, I don't know if you guys saw that decorate with me. I did the, like a dining room video, decorate with me video, but it was super chill. Actually, I don't even know if it was a decorate with me video. I think I just did like a dining room tour. I did it for just my patrons, so you probably, you guys probably didn't even get to see these, but I got these last year. I think I'm gonna put these down in this area right here. <laughs> this is so happy. Okay, and then I have both of these trees and these trees. Um, I'm thinking these obviously fit the color story better. But I don't know whether if I want to do them like up here in between or if I'd want to put them on the little shelf down here. Maybe I do these down on this little shelf and this up on the top of the mantle. Now let's try it. I don't know how the heights are going to work. So let, let's just, let's try. Let's just put stuff somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, the glitter, y'all. Why do I do this to myself? What's that looking? Oh, you can barely see. These are the trees that, you know, they light up. <laughs> Can't see them too much because of the light. But the blue trees, blue frosty green trees are right here. What do we think of that? Or should I put these up there because they might be a little bit taller? I just don't know the color. I do think the ones down here would be a better height. And that would have more color down here. Let's, let's, let's switch one and see what we I, I do really like how this one glistens more up there and it matches in the white. I think I'm gonna keep that up there and then the other ones are gonna come down here. So let me, let me switch. Here's where we are so far. I think I like that. Let me know, comment below. <laughs> I could always end up switching it, you know me. Let me know. Do you like the swirly stripey ones better up there? Or do you like these blue, green, glistening icy ones up there. I just, I think that, I didn't think I would like it, but the iciness of it matches really well with the big trees, I think. Let me know your thoughts, comment below. Okay, next things we have, look at these reindeer. I got these last year at Target. Oh, super retro-y, I think. I'm actually gonna put them down here on this shelf, and then the mantle's gonna be like all the elves. What do you think? I feel like this this red one is taller than the lamp. I don't know, let me position all of the elves and then we'll go from there. We'll see, maybe I'll move the reindeer up here or something. They're just down here. I think I kind of like that. Yes? The only thing is I like to have a candle holder <laughs> on there. I normally use this one. This is one I got from Bath and Body Works like I don't know, a couple of years ago, I bought it full price. I really love it. Let's see if I can turn it on. Oh wait, it's on the side. Look, it's like clear. When it turns on, you see all the glitter. It just looks like a snow globe, you know? Let me see if I can fit it in there. <laughs> there we go. That way, now I kind of moved the deer a little bit in front of the swirly tree, so it looks like I don't know, they're riding through the forest or something. And then I can put the candle holder in the middle. Now I have like a million elves to place. Let me get, let me take all the tags off these elves and then I'll show you all of them and then we'll put them in their homes. <laughs> I have a plethora of elves. I have 
the little one. I have this one and the little girl one. I think I'm gonna put them on the shelf down below. Just because I think with the garland, if I put them on any of these, you're not gonna be able to see them. I cannot explain to you how much glitter is on this table right now. See, I put them next to the trees. All right, and then we have our three largest elves. And this little one, this one's from At Home. This was the one that <laughs> they had listed as an ornament. I bought him for not an ornament, his eyes, y'all. And then these two were our home goods elves. I love how well, oh my gosh, my hair. I love how well all three of these go together. I think I'm gonna try fitting them all up top somehow. Let's just see where they can fit. Okay, so I got two of them up there. <laughs> They're sitting up there pretty well. Silly thought. What if, since it is supposed to be an ornament, what if I hang it from the, the frosted trees up there? Would that be too much? <laughs> I don't want to try it. Just have like a little <laughs> elf hanging from the tree, you know? <laughs> okay, I think he's going to hold. Do you, you can't even see him. Look at him. <laughs> He's just having the time of his life. All three of them. This is just majorly precious. I'm so happy right now. Okay, I do have three elves. I'm probably going to put it on the little shelf thing down here. Um, these are vintage. Like very, very old. <laughs> this one... He's like a little tree topper. I've had this since I was a kid. I remember my parents, I think they, it was either my mom's or my dad's, I can't remember. Um, but whenever I had like a tiny little tree in my room, I would use this as my tree topper. But look at his face, like, oh my gosh, this sucker's definitely vintage. And then these two, I recently got my, my um, grandmother passed away a couple years ago. My mom's just been going through her stuff and whatnot, and she had a lot of Christmas decor. And so um, there were some elves in there, and I think it was even, if it wasn't her, then it was my great-grandmother that went, I think, the year before. Um, and she loved Christmas as well. She's the one I was telling you I get my craftiness from, Granny, Miss Virginia. But these two elves, look at them. This one's like a little drummer boy elf. And this one is another like tree topper elf. Actually, when I got him, it, it, they were holding his legs and you're just sitting here like this. So I might even position him. It looks like he was an ornament, so I might even just position him somewhere over there like that. But I love these. I think they're really precious and just, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try like kind of hiding them through here. So it's like the little elves just hiding about. I think I kind of like that better, so let's 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 place them in there. We'll zoom in as much as I can, so you guys can really see. This little, the little one, it's like a little hanger. I just showed you. I think I'm gonna hang them from the tree up here, actually. Drummer person, I'm gonna put. I think I'm just gonna put down here in the middle, and then this one I think I'm gonna put over the other tree. Okay, can you see? Here, let me just take you off the stand. Put that one up there. <laughs> that tree just hanging around. The little drummer's right there in the very front. And then the other ones, <laughs> they just had, oh, hanging about right there. And here's our other <laughs> three elves. I love this so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. I truly don't have much else that I was wanting to put on this. I have these little snow globe in a <laughs> cup thing. I was given these by a coworker many, many, many years ago when one of the bakeries I worked at, um, this lady, she knew I loved decorating, so she gave me these. They were like, these are snowball candles, and then she gave me cups separately, and I just thought they looked really fun in each other's. I say, I think I'm gonna put them down here on this little table. I know that lamp kind of makes it a little hard to see stuff. Let me turn the lamp off, actually. There you go, so I hope. So I have the trees, each of the little characters, next to the trees and then the little snowball cup thing. The only other thing, I do have these really, really lovely like metal red reindeer. I normally put them up on the mantle. Um, I have four of these, I think. I just don't know if they will fit. Unless I just put them maybe around the edges. I have two of the larger ones and then like a medium size and then a small one. 
I got these as a set, or I think I got as like a three set several years ago at Home Goods, and then I got a separate, another big red one, so that way I would have two big red ones, and two little ones. But I'm thinking maybe I just put them like on the corners of the mantle, and then maybe the little ones up top between these two trees, or like between the center candy cane tree, that one, on either side of it. Let's try that. Big ones are gonna go here on the corners. One thing, I will say that's bothering me, and this just be being a little bit neurotic. And you guys probably don't even notice it. You notice it, there's something bothering you about this? <laughs> Comment below. Give you a second. Anything weird? Okay, so what's bothering me is the like retro one, the deer are facing outward, and then all of the red deer are facing inward. Maybe I'll have the top two ones facing outward so that it's like outward and outwards and then the ones on the corners can stay facing inward. Because of how the corners are, like if I have it facing outward on these, like you won't really be able to see it, you'll see the butt. Because <laughs> I have to do that at an angle. So I'm just gonna change the top two. I think I feel better about it. I almost still like them facing inward. Whatever, I'm just being neurotic right now. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, so I think that is all for the mantle and like this little shelf right here. I love this. This is so happy and it feels so retro and like, or not retro, it feels so like vintage inspired and happy. It's very much giving me like Elf and Rudolph and like very traditional, cute, but maybe a little creepy Christmas. I almost said Halloween. <laughs> Cause I literally only took my Halloween. Halloween? I literally only took my Halloween decor down like four days ago, like end of November. But you know, here we are. I think this is gonna be our mantle. I'm really liking this. I might end up adding a little bit more stuff to this shelf down here. I have so many tubs. There's a lot of like small little trinkety kind of things sitting around like tchotchke and that kind of stuff that again was either my great grandmothers or my grandmothers that I've inherited. And I just love sitting around because it reminds me of them. Um, as I go through tubs, I might end up adding a little more stuff. I think the mantle itself is gonna stay like this. One last thing I'm gonna do for this area, and it will kind of even wrap around to the rest of the room. I'm pretty sure these are the ones from Old Night. I showed you guys in my holiday decor haul. They, they sent me these, and they are icicle lights. And I wanted to get these specifically, because, like I've sold you guys before, I don't have a plug outside, so I. If I do any lights outside, it has to be battery operated or solar. So I wanted to get the icicle lights to do something fun in here. And what I'm thinking of doing, I'm gonna have to have Craig help me, so I'm not gonna film this part because who knows how that process is gonna be. Hopefully it'll be easy, but I'll show you the outcome. We're gonna try putting the icicle lights. Ooh, from there all the way around and up there. I don't know, do, I don't know if I'm gonna do them like right at the edge. I think I might do them a little bit, maybe a foot out in the ceiling, so it's like they're hanging. So it's like actual icicles or stalagmites, stalactites, I'm not sure which one. <laughs> one of the uh, icy drippy things <laughs> hanging. These are, like I showed you before, they are, you can go either white, you can go a white with a bit of multicolor, a little bit more multicolor, and then a full multicolor. So you know we're gonna do full multicolor probably because I think it's just gonna be so fun for all of this. So I will show you that here Probably this next clip will be, hey, here's what the icicle lights look like. Hi friends, editing Jenny here. So for the icicle lights that I just mentioned, I'm actually gonna make that a separate video because I need Craig's help to do it and with his work schedule, it probably won't be available for the next few days. And I wanted to go ahead and get the mantle video out for you guys. So the icicle lights, um, I don't know if I'll show you exactly how we do it or what I'm gonna do, but a video for that as well as showing you our tree will be next so hopefully that'll be out by maybe next weekend but yeah icicle lights will be the next video i'm really excited i think it's going to be a lot of fun so stay tuned for that like and then i will also show you all of this lit up at night so i hope you guys enjoyed this definitely i'll leave a link to these lights down in the description in case you guys are interested to get them um, i believe there's there's a discount code but i think it might have expired november 30th but still check them out because i think it's worth it they were i think it's like 30 dollars for a strand but again they were remote controlled they're icicle lights you can use indoor or outdoor and has four different light settings which i think 
Lord, if you went to Home Depot or Lowe's or something, you're probably gonna pay at least that for a strand that has this kind of capability. So definitely check them out if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Also, if you guys aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I do try to do these videos one to two times a week, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Whether you guys are one of my patrons, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're somebody that just dropped by to watch this video and share some time with me, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe it inspired you to get some holiday decor put up or just some fun ideas, fun ways to use different things and to be creative and, and have fun with your decor. That's, that's all I love to do and I, I hope you guys do as well. So um, but yeah, thank you guys so much again for all your love and support. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.